Hey Michael, so here's that one on Upton Park. Four beds, three and a half baths, 3,500 square feet. Um, I was able to tell on the uh, address number there, little address plaque, this is an MI home. Um, and so this one was built in 2018. This home is huge, feels huge because, and by the way, just this porch, the brick and stone elevation, beautiful. Nice eight foot door going in. Tall ceilings on the first floor, even though it has a second floor. And I, I did go upstairs right now and look out towards the green belt. And it really feels like this home really is tall. But you have eight foot doors throughout the house, or at least throughout the first floor, which just feels super luxurious as i've mentioned <laughs> before you've got the mudroom coming in from the garage utility room and the powder room nice uh, ceramic tile throughout yeah, this office with the three little picture windows there. Those are a nice touch. Going into the living room, got a fireplace and a little media wall set up there, ready to go. We've got one, two, three, four, five picture windows. Three more picture windows right there and the door to the backyard. This is awesome. This is really cool. This one's a great deal, in my opinion. You've got the five burner stove right there. Man, those picture windows with the green belt in the backyard are a super nice touch. Everywhere you are in this in this house, you've got a great, beautiful view there. Going into the bedroom with a little bay window action. It's actually two picture windows on the side and two, uh, you know, normal function windows. And these picture windows look great got crown molding, eight foot doors, eight foot uh, French doors going into the bathroom. You've got the bath area right there, restroom, really nice. We've got two picture windows here. They added that uh, frosted glass filter there, screen for privacy, for your tub, double vanity, and a huge closet. Let's check this one out with a little shoe rack there. Oh, that's not built in, but it's still here. I'm guessing they're leaving it here. Eight foot doors going into the closet. I'm telling you, the eight foot doors are a luxurious addition to a home. Whenever my clients are building from scratch, I recommend they get the eight foot doors because it's something that's gonna be a pain in the butt to try to add in yourself afterwards. You, you, you won't, um, but the eight foot doors make all the difference. Um, I would say that's one of the val most valuable, top 10 valuable add-ons to a home when you're building it from the ground up. Thirty five hundred square feet. This home is big, feels big and tall, especially in the first floor. Um, going up the stairs, it's got a little the little pause and turn. And you've got a window here. Wish they would have made it a little bit bigger. 
but it's nice that it, it, it lets some light in there. So up here you've got secondary bedroom number one, secondary bedroom number two, and this is where the second full bathroom is. So this is kind of like an in-law suite. Typically see this in the first floor, but pretty cool that they, that they have it here in the second floor with a pretty big closet there. The second secondary bedroom, which I think this might have been more of a media room, just because it's kind of got a awkwardly long uh, foyer into the bedroom. Got a nice little two steps up, going into the full bathroom, the third and final full bathroom. A double vanity there for the loft, and the fourth, second, third secondary bedroom. So four bedrooms in total. And just to show you kind of what I was talking about. You really feel the height. Um, you know, and you have a nice view to the green belt. Really cool, really beautiful home. Um, I am a fan. It's got that cool little balcony overlooking there. Let's go ahead and turn these lights off. Nice railing, by the way. Always nice to have some railing over just a continuation of wall. This backyard is crazy. This is a crazy good deal. Crazy good deal. Texas spiny lizard in action. Kind of scared, scared it off accidentally there. Got some crepe myrtles, some uh, red encino trees, and a green belt full of just a bunch of native trees, I'm assuming. Look like oak trees. But yeah, those these two on the edge Aren't Cenos, the ones in the middle are crepe myrtles. Really good sized backyard. I love it. Let me know what you think of this one. Talk soon.